Top 5 Graphics Cards of 2023 Any gaming PC's top graphics card is its vital organ. Everything else is secondary. Even the fastest CPU won't accomplish much without a strong GPU pushing pixels. Even though there isn't a single graphics card that works for everyone, we've included solutions below that suit all budgets and mentalities. We provide the best graphics card for the money, the quickest graphics card, and the finest card overall. Our ranking of the greatest graphics cards considers all aspects of the card, unlike our Pew Benchmarks hierarchy, which ranks all the cards based just on performance. Number 5. GeForce RTX 4090 from NVIDIA Some people don't care about price, they just care about the quickest graphics card. This same user type is catered to by NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090. It also marked the introduction of NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, and it will likely remain the company's most powerful card until the next generation of GPUs is expected to be released in 2025. The Rax 4090 provides more space between it and the NVIDIA GPU that comes in second. In comparison to the RTX 4080, it performs 35% faster overall across our suite of gaming benchmarks. It costs almost 60% more than AM's top-performing RX 7900 XTX, but is also 51% quicker. To be clear, to get the most out of the RTX 4090, you need a 4K monitor with a fast refresh rate. Even with highly demanding DXR titles, its advantage over 4080 drops to 23% at 1440 and to just 13% at 1080. At 1080, the advantage over the RX 7900 XTX likewise decreases to just 24%. To get the most out of the 4090, you'll need a monitor with a high refresh rate and resolution in addition to the fastest CPU available. It goes beyond just how well you play games. In professional content creation workloads like V-Ray, Blender, and Octane, the RTX 4090 outperforms the RTX 4080 by up to 45%. It's also more than three times quicker than the RX 7900 XTX with Blender. Let's not even discuss tasks using artificial intelligence. The RTX 4090 outperforms the 7900 XTX in stable diffusion tests, outperforming it by around four times for 512x512 images and by over seven times for 768 768 images. Currently, a large number of other ad workloads are limited to NVIDIA GPUs. NVIDIA is well-versed in content creation software, to put it briefly. Its usage of drivers to lock better performance in some apps, such as some in SPC ViewPerf, to its real professional cards, the RTX 6048GB is the only possible drawback. Number 4. Radeon RX 7900 XTX from AMD On November 3, 2022, AMD released the Enthusiast Class Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card. The card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate and is based on the Navi 31 graphics processor in its Navi 31 XTX variant. It was built using the 5N technology. This guarantees that the Radeon RX 7900 XTX can run all current games. Furthermore, future video games will undoubtedly include hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading, and other features thanks to DirectX 12 Ultimate. The Navi 31 graphics processor is a huge device with 57,700 million transistors and a die area of 529 mm2. It has 192 ROPs, 384 texture mapping units, and 6144 shading units. There are 96 ray tracing acceleration cores on the board as well. A 384-bit memory interface connects AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX graphics card to 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The RAM is functioning at 2500 mAh, 20 GEPs effective. While the GPU operates at 1855 mAh, which may be increased to 2499 mAh, the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX is a dual-slot card with a maximum power consumption rating of 355 del U. It is powered by two 8-pin power connectors, two DisplayPort 2.1, one USB Type-C, and one HDMI 2.1 are among the display outputs. PCI Express 4.0 X16 is the interface that connects the Radeon RX 7900 XTX to the rest of the system. The card has a dual-slot cooling system and measures 287 mm by 110 mm by 51 mm. At debut, it costs 999 US dollars. Number 3. GeForce RTX 4080 from NVIDIA NVIDIA's Enthusiast Class graphics card, the GeForce RTX 4080, was released on September 20, 2022. 
The card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate and is based on the AD103 graphics processor in its AD103-301 variant. It was built using the 5M technology. This guarantees that GeForce RTX 4080 will support all current games. Furthermore, future video games will undoubtedly include hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading, and other features thanks to DirectX 12 Ultimate. With 45,900 million transistors and a die area of 379 of 2, the AD103 graphics processor is a sizable chip. It has 112 ROPs, 304 texture mapping units, and 9728 shading units. 304 tensor cores are also incorporated, which contributes to the acceleration of machine learning applications. 76 ray tracing acceleration cores are also present on the GPU. The GeForce RTX 4080 and 16GB Gator 6X memory are coupled by NVIDIA and connected via a 256-bit memory interface. The RAM is running at 1400MHz 22.4 GEPS effective, while the GPU operates at 2205MHz, which may be increased to 2505MHz. Because it is a triple-slot card, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 can only consume a maximum of 320W of electricity from a single 16-pin power connector. Display results consist of one DisplayPort 1.4a and one HDMI 2.1. A PCI Express 4.0x16 interface connects the GeForce RTX 4080 to the rest of the system. The card has a triple-slot cooling solution and measures 310 mm by 140 mm by 61 mm. At debut, it costs $1,099 in US dollars. Number 2. Radeon RX 7900 XT from AMD On November 3, 2022, AMD released the Enthusiast Class Radeon RX 7900 XT graphics card. The card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate and is based on the Navi 31 graphics processor in its Navi 31 XT variant. It was built on the 5M process. This guarantees that the Radeon RX 7900 XT can run all current games. Furthermore, future video games will undoubtedly include hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading, and other features thanks to DirectX 12 Ultimate. The Navi 31 graphics processor is a huge device with 57,700 million transistors and a die area of 529 of 2. To meet the product's target shader count, AMD blocked some shading units on the Radeon RX 7900 XT in contrast to the fully unlocked Radeon RX 7900 XTX, which uses the identical GPU but has all 6144 shaders activated. It has 192 ROPs, 336 texture mapping units, and 5376 shading units. 84 ray tracing acceleration cores are also included on the GPU. A 320-bit memory interface connects AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XT graphics card to 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Memory operates at 2500 MHz, 20 GEPS effective, while the GPU operates at 1500 MHz with a boost to 2394 MHz. As a dual-slot card, the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT has a maximum power draw of 300W and is powered by two 8-pin power connectors. Two DisplayPort 2.1, one USB Type-C, and one HDMI 2.1 are among the display outputs. PCI Express 4.0 X16 interface connects the Radeon RX 7900 XT to the rest of the system. The card has a dual-slot cooling solution and measures 276 mm by 110 mm by 51 mm. At debut, it costs 899 US dollars. Number 1. GeForce RTX 4070 from NVIDIA Similar to other GPUs in the GeForce RTX 40 series, the GeForce RTX 4070 is significantly more energy efficient than models from earlier generations, consuming 23% less power than the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, while achieving up to 1.7x gaming performance gains with DLSS3. Additionally, the architectural improvements of GeForce allow it to consume very little power when inactive, rousing the web, or watching videos. The GeForce RTX 4070 is 1.6 times faster with DLSS3 on average than the GeForce RTX 2070 Super, and it is 1.4 times faster with DLSS3 than the GeForce RTX 3080. Ada GPUs benefit greatly from DLSS3, but the GeForce RTX 4070 also performs admirably in classic games devoid of more sophisticated features like ray tracing with DLSS. With almost half the power consumption and 2GB more RAM, 
The GeForce RTX 4070 performs comparably to the GeForce RTX 3080 in some rasterized games. Most RTX owners use the most recent integrations and the enormous advancements RTX has achieved are well known among gamers. Among the millions of owners of GeForce RTX desktop GPUs, 83% of users of the 40 series activated ray tracing, while 79% of users in the 40 series use DLSS to boost performance in RTX-capable games. Ray tracing and deep learning super-threading DLSS have become more commonplace than previous technologies and innovations. For example, 28% of gamers utilize 4K, while 62% of GeForce RTX 40 series desktop GPU customers use 144Hz plus high refresh rate gaming monitors. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting